What's going on, guys? Let's join this queue. Pernicious dude, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 14 months, good lord. I'm glad you're still here. In all the ways. I still feel like I'm trying to rehydrate myself. From being sick. Oh, this pack looks great. This pack has a lot of my favorite things. Aleshnorn, Elspeth, Force of Will, Sphinx's Revelation, Time Warp. Avacyn's Pilgrim is one of my least favorite one mana guys because it's usually just colorless mana unless you happen to pair your white with your green. You gotta get those probiotics in you. How do I get the how do I get those into my body? How do I inject my body with probiotics? Explosives are pretty good in the game. Interesting. Interesting. I can't let's see I can't see myself first picking it. I can see myself first picking this Elspeth though. It's your girl. I would probably pick Time Warp over Force of Will first. I also like Frexian Metamorph a lot. Excuse me. All right, I'll take a Leshnorn because I think it is... Oh, another Elspeth. So we just get rewarded. They're like, you know what? We know that was a hard pick for you. Here's another Elspeth for you. I like that. That's really nice of them. Also, Rampaging Ferocidon is a good dude. You know, someone else recommended Pedialyte to me as well. So maybe there's... Maybe there's some truth in this. Oh, also Sulfuric Vortex. Man. I think I just want the Elspeth. Yeah, I'm just going to take Elspeth. I mean, if I'm going to go tokens, I would also just take Elspeth and go tokens, right? Why are people, people rolling their eyes at Pedialyte is weird. Like, that seems like a weird response. It seems like a totally legit, uh, a legit solution. Interesting. Oh, I like Niv Mizzet. <laughs> Good lord, what's wrong with here? I'm probably just gonna take Tundra. Ah, that's, there is a Grim Monolith. I think Grim Monolith is better in a vacuum. Like, we don't have a, a. We're not blue necessarily. I'm just taking. I think we just want Grim Monolith here, especially with the Leshnorn. Oh, and a Thran Dynamo? Alright, now we're just big white. Big white. That's hilarious. Someone, my friend Nick actually recommended kombucha. And I thought he was just trolling because he's the biggest troll ever. But he's also very useful and helpful in certain situations. So it's kind of funny that he, it's based on your comment, he might have been being sincere. That's funny to me. Yeah, turn four Niv Miz, it's pretty good. How do you how do you turn for an visit, Sarkon? I mean it's a pretty scary card, for sure. I like Brightling, I also do like Lingering Souls. Brightling is always overperformed every time I have it. Whereas Lingering Souls, we do have to add black, and I don't really feel like adding black here. I'm just gonna take the the Brightling. Opposition. I'm going to take this opposition. And now we're going to be some token monstrosity. 
Wrath of God. Maybe we're just control deck. I like Wrath of God more than I like Fairgrounds Warden. Thank you. I like Resto. Oh, Control Magic. I like Control Magic more than I like Resto. Swenny Boy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Half a year with Butt Buttman and Barbobbly Boy. We need to get some capes for these modern day heroes. Okay, I'm I'm game. Yeah, I like a control magic better. Oh, Sphinx's Revelation? I'll take a Sphinx's Revelation, especially with a Thran Dynamo and a Grim Monolith. Yes, please. When I hated my job, I drank cum, but she has an act of defiance. Wow. Does, is that hurting you or hurting them? These are the questions. Alright, this Cloud Guard Ranger coming back was pretty sweet. Oh, of course the Needle Spires comes back, but the Tundra does not. That's sad. I mean, if the Sea Chrome Coast or the Hollowed Fountain comes back, I'll be pretty thrilled. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Billy with 12 months in a row. It's time for my... Hold on, let me pick a Baneslayer Angel, which is better than all. Uh, it is time for my Pokemon to evolve. I choose Mikachu. <laughs> That's a solid choice. It's a good starter. Although, uh, he's always late, unfortunately. Uh, Mizzium Mortars, just in case. I don't know if there's any in case, but whatever. Wow, none of the blue-eyed fixing came back. That's really sad. So we'll probably won't see any more for the rest of the queue because they were all in this they were all in this pack. Which is really sad because literally literally every card in our deck has a double casting cost right now. Double white, double white, double white, double blue, double blue, double white, double white, double white, double blue. That's pretty insane. I'm trying to draft blue white Chions. Chion is in, in control of the cube now. And eh, I'm going to take Bogart and Hellcat, actually. Oh, and a Banefire. Interesting. I wish I took the Needle Spires now, but... There are no filter lands. There, There's never really been filter lands in the cube. Riftwing Cloudscape, Jace Architect. I think we're good on our four drops, as you usually are in blue-white. Prismatic Lens is not bad. Actually, Cold Steel Heart's probably better, right? I also don't hate Steam Vents, because Steam Vents lets us play the, like, blue-red lands and white-red lands, and then it also kind of help, kind of help fixes our mana if we want to play any of these things, but I don't think we do. I think we just want to take Cold Steel Heart. Cold Steel Heart, hear me calling. Turn through Basalt Monolith is a turn four Eleshnorn. That's pretty cool. Do we want to entreat the angels here? Maybe. Oh, and Entreat's probably going to wheel. Sword would probably wheel. I'm going to take this Basalt Monolith. Oh, Emrakul, huh? Okay, well that's a thing. I do like a Spectral Procession. But I don't know the odds of us actually casting Spectral Procession in a reasonable amount of time. <sighs> yeah, Ancient Tomb usually goes pretty late, surprisingly. I do like a Merfolk Looter a lot, but I think it's probably Ancient Tomb here. Oh, a Karn? With all these mana rocks? Also, Chromatic Lantern's pretty sick here. Chromatic Lantern makes our mana base real good. 
We could also go Ancient Tomb, Grim Monolith, Chromatic Lantern. And then all of a sudden, we can use Ancient Tomb to just add regular. Oh, we're definitely, the Lantern's definitely not coming back. Yeah, I'm going to go with Karn here. Oh, Caracas is a nice little... Actually, Cyclonic Rift is probably insane. Yeah, we're taking the Cyclonic Rift for sure. We have a lot of mana rocks, so I want to be sure we have things to do with these mana rocks. Cast out's a nice answer. Negate's also pretty sweet. I kind of like just having a negate in the, in the main deck. These are the biggest of Cheons. Um... Cast out or negate? I think I like negate more. Monastery Mentor. That makes tokens. For our opposition. For sure. For sure. Celestial Colonnade! Oh, not only is it a, uh, an on-color dual land but it is the best on color dual land we could have asked for yeah paul's a great guy paul is wonderful for those who don't know i was actually at the 2014 community cup with paul Chion. and paul is awesome Wow, the Riftwing Cloudscape came back, huh? Face Fetters also came back? Interesting. Could be Lens. I think it's I think it's actually Riftwing Cloudscape, though. We only have five creatures. And we already have Cold Steel Heart, Grim Monolith. Like, I, I don't think we want... Oh, I'll just take in Truth Angels. That actually could be great in this deck. Hold on, let me see what Hunter's doing real quick. What are you doing up there? He was doing some shenanigans. We ain't taking no ravages. I'm going to take this Spectral Procession just in case. Spear of Heliod. Okay. Ah, uh, Blessed Alliance is actually fine. Thrashing Bronto Boy. And Shaman, sure. I don't think Blessed Alliance is actually not that bad. I think it's probably playable. I have no idea why you're writing all caps. You're clearly a maniac. Get it together, Gosman. Yeah, you can send Hunter whatever emails you guys would like. What do we have? We have Elspeth and Karn as far as Planeswalkers go. Immortal Sun. Do we like that better than Gideon? I'm a big Immortal Sun fan, and I'm always looking forward to the deck that lets it work. Drawing two cards a turn, though. Oops, all caps. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Library, maybe? What are you saying right now? Ben, why are you like this? Oh, man. I think it's actually Immortal Sun, dude. I think the Gideon might table it. I don't think the Immortal Sun will. Oh, why? It's definitely Consecrated Sphinx for sure. Ideally, this Glacial Fortress comes back. I don't, I don't think I want a triple blue spell in this deck, but still. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, man. Yes. You are the card we want in every deck. That Glacial Fortress is coming back for sure. Don't even worry about it. Do we have any way to, to, to 
to arrange our deck in such a way. I actually gave the shut up and sit down, folks. My Bezos bucks this month. I don't even know who those are. I'll come back. I, I Cyborg UA, I trust you. I, I believe in you. It's either I think it's either Royal or Sky. I like I do like Terminus though. I like the idea of Terminus here. We already have a Wrath of God. I'll take the spell Skite. Up upheaval. In this deck? With Thran Dynamo, Cold Steel Heart, Grim Monolith, Basalt Monolith. Shut up and take my money. Holy biscuits. Luke, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I am doing better. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Thank you. No beats with a gifted sub to Cyborg Huey. No month goes unsubbed. I'm going to take this upheaval, dude. This is a... Leave it to... Uh... Oh, wow. Sheldock Isle is interesting. Oh, so is Path and Worn Power Stone. Oh, man. We actually don't have much removal. We can cut Spellskite from the main. We can cut Blessed Alliance. God, Worn Power Stone, though, with upheaval, guys. Now, yeah, Tokyo, I knew your name. That is weird, though. I was like, Luke, it's, you never actually send anything as Luke, so that was funny that you did that. But really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Always appreciate the support. You are great. I, I kind of just want to take Worn Power Stone here, especially with Ancient Tomb. I did. I took Worn Power Stone, especially with Ancient Tomb. Oh, do we mass Manips in this deck? Four blue is tough. Hey, everyone. Shadows, what's going on, buddy? I, I, I want it. I, I want to take this. I really do. I think we can cut Spectral Procession as well. I do like... I think Miscalc is the correct pick. I think 4 blue is... Just, actually, maybe 4 blue is not going to be that hard. I'll just take this. I think it's better than Miscalculation in the sideboard, for sure. Is this any good in our deck? Um, It looks like the answer is no. We literally just have Negate and Cyclonic Rift to hit. So I'm going to say no. I do like City of Brass here. Actually, City of Brass is probably... City of Brass is probably better than... Banishing Light, especially when we just took a Mass Manips. But, but, we do need Banishing Light-esque effects. I also don't like Banishing Light with Upheaval because then they just get their thing back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to take the city here. And I'm really, really hoping that, uh, Oh my god, he's so loud, dude. Can you guys hear little man? He's so loud. Yeah, we're taking Sower here. For obvious reasons. Mow. Um... Probably just careful consideration. I don't think we care about any of the other cards. Glacial Fortress is not coming back. That's really sad. I guess we'll take a Relic of Progen Pro Progenesis. That's really sad. You're a two drop. Don't pretend otherwise. I think this deck looks pretty sweet though. I'm gonna prevent someone from tooth and nailing. <laughs> Sorry guys. This is a lot of mana rocks. This is like all the best mana rocks right here. Also, this is basically a mana rock. Yeah, this deck looks actually pretty sweet. I think we're actually okay here. I'm gonna main deck this negate. I think that's fine. Cube is a scary place. And this is also uh, nine of each source, which is just fine. I think we're a little heavier on white, but I think that's... Yeah, just barely. I mean, because this is double blue. 
<laughs> Literally every card but three has a double required converted mana cost. That's pretty brutal. But we also have a lot of artifacts. So. I think I think if anything, like this deck is gonna get hung up on the mana costs, so. I mean, I like that we don't. I like having. I would like to have more planeswalkers, but I like that we only have two with Immortal Sun because Immortal Sun. Oh, <laughs> turn one, Grim Monolith. <laughs> okay, I'll keep it. I don't know what this hand does, but it makes a lot of mana. I really don't want to play Basalt Monolith because then we're just trading Mana Rock for Mana Rock here. Whereas next turn we can just play Basalt Monolith and have a million lands. Oh god, the, the red deck and we have Ancient Tomb. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is rough. See, this is the problem with the mana base because now like we have to either draw... We have to draw a second white source here. And even if we do... Like, we have to lead off on white, which takes the negate shield down. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I don't know if I love Ancient Tomb in here. I might just want the other colored source, to be quite honest. I know it sounds bad, but... Um, we could also just play this and hope to hit, like, Immortal Sun or Karn. That would be pretty cool, but... One, two, three, four, five. We already have six mana. It's a lot. I think we're just going to play this and then pass... Okay, they didn't do anything. Okay, so now any land we draw. We could also play Basalt Monolith and then just at the end of the turn untap it. Untap the Grim Monolith, take, take an extra two. I don't think we really want to do that though. I think we're actually okay here. And we have seven mana, so I mean, I'm not really hard-pressed to uh, to rush out this Basalt Monolith and we have nothing that we can't cast. Yeah, Brightling seems like it's going to really shine here. Um, second blue. Still fine. Um, I think we can just keep taking one for a bit. Grim Monolith is not only during upkeep. Mana Vault is only during upkeep. No, Grim Monolith, you can just untap it whenever. Um, yikes. That is unfortunate. Well, that's annoying. Yep, you got it. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, Shut up and take my money. How nice. Five, welcome back, Buck. Sarge, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. I love you guys. Um, we can control magic this thing. I think that's actually fine, all things considered. Can't play this or this. Can't play this. Like, these are our only two options. Or we can just run out of Assault Monolith, but that doesn't seem great either. Yeah, this seems fine. I mean, they either can't attack us, they have to get rid of it and waste a removal spell, or we just get to keep a guy. Sphinx does block real good. I agree with you. It also draws us into more lands. Situations like this, I wish I took the, uh, 
what do you call it? You know, you know what I'm saying. Face fetters. That's what we're looking for. Okay, well, it'll do. <clears throat> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Did they name a Leshnorn? They did not. Yeah, Baneslayer Angel's pretty good, too. Ideally, we can draw planes next turn and then just run out of Baneslayer Angel. I feel like that puts us in good shape. Here comes Thunder My Hellkite. Oh man, are they gonna double shoot this dude? Sure. This is why I like Negate, guys. And you're gonna kill the Revoker? Fascinating. Sword Equip, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'll take three. Sure. Come on, planes, one time. Daddy needs a planes. That's actually not bad. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. This is going to draw us two more, right? So. We just gain six here. So zero, actually we gained four, which is still fine, right? So actually, <clears throat> add three to play this. Just having this in play is probably better than having it sit in our hand and do nothing. And we're gonna draw a lot of cards, so I don't think we actually have to tap this. Do we want to draw six and just like we just it's just parody, right? It's an instant, but I want to hit a land. I want to hit a land drop. Plus, we can also go land and then play Worn Power Stone, which is pretty nice. Or we can just keep up negate. I think it's probably more important to. Yeah, all right. We'll just keep up in the gate. We only have eight cards. We can get rid of the other island. Or the Worn Power Stone. Probably the island. One, two. So we take four here. We go to eight. But then they have two cards, and we have a Bane Slayer Angel. We have a Hulk. And we get to keep up in the gate as well, so that's pretty cool. I'm no expert, but I feel like that's going to put us in good position. What is this? Oh, God. I guess I stand corrected. Does that do anything? We go to three and then Inferno Titan kills us. Hmm. That's really obnoxious. Literally had to be Inferno Titan there. All right. Well. And in the distance, I can hear the cat throwing up. Fantastic. 
I do like Spellskite. Upheaval might be too slow. Same thing with, like, Basalt Monolith. Blessed Alliance seems good. Um, it's probably all we want here. Sower seems good, but I feel like it's just going to die. Uh, I we, we barely got two, two white sources by turn six last game. I really don't want to risk a Spectral Procession. When we already have, like, Cloud Guard Ranger, Elspeth, and Treat the Angel. We have a lot of ways to make tokens already. Oh, I'm probably cutting Ancient Tomb. Dang it. I'd rather cut Ancient Tomb than City. Oh, this hand seems good, actually. Surprisingly enough. Thank you. Rogue Ockbeck, welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. I'm catching up, but I'm, I'm still catching up after this, uh, after this break. We cut this city on rocket land. Nice. Actually, do we want to go Monastery Mentor? Probably not, because we don't want it to just die. I don't want them to just go, like, Shiv and Fire, your Monastery Mentor, for no value. I'd rather just play a five loyalty Planeswalker and make start making guys. Corporation Games! We also have Wrath of God, which is good against... Uh, are they just going to double bolt? Shiv and Fire the token. Frank of the Barbado Boost, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And that guy is obnoxious. I would easily Wrath of God just for this one creature. What do you think of Liliana's Triumph and Dovin's Veto? Um, I don't know. I don't know what those do off the top of my head. Interesting. These are all interesting choices. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. I don't think they can beat a 1-1 every turn or a Cloud Goat Ranger for that matter. If this Elspeth ultimates, woof. Then who needs who needs uh who needs a Mortal Sun anyway, right? I mean you just ultimate her, she's dead, and then you can Mortal Sun. Oh, dang it. That's rude. Oh, actually, five Travolta yields. Okay, we did it. I think we did it. Oh, they made it 5-5. Five, five. Okay, so that's fine. I thought they were going to attack into my guy. Give her... Really? I'm only just going to block here because I want to keep the Kithkin alive in order to block with Cloud Goat Ranger. Is this like Gaia's Cradle? 4, 5, 6, 7, huh? Alright. I'm game. We built this city on a rock and roll. <laughs> Turns out we uh, should not have cut the tomb. <laughs> I just, uh, that's a good keep. <laughs> that's a nice, seems good. I'm, I'm tempted to cut it now. I'm still tempted to cut it. I don't think that was correct just because it worked out for us. Yeah, <laughs> that's just, whew. Just a little, uh, just a little awkward. <laughs> so we have Blessed Alliance, Brightling, and Sphinx's Rev for life gain. And Baneslayer. We have a lot of life gain in the deck. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, so what's going on, buddy? I think you need a proportional number of rock to roll. I think if you have if one outweighs the other, then then construction becomes difficult. We only saw literally. We only saw like um, Frexian Revoker, right? Roll doesn't seem very stable, but I feel like Seattle was built on a lot of roll, though. That's where all those hills came from. Also, we have opposition, which is just great. I feel like our deck is fine like this. I do want to cut the ancient tomb, though. This is like the worst hand ever. We have all lands, one of them deals us damage, and we have an Entreat the Angels in our hand. This hand's actually worse. All right. Seems bad, but I'll keep it. Going to five against the burn deck. What could go wrong? Well, that could be good. Weed is legal in Seattle. Can confirm has a lot of roll. Nice. Nice. Oh, that was good. All right. We are getting somewhere. I'm going to Brightling first because actually, well, we don't have triple white. I want triple white so I can bounce Brightling. I guess we can also have... Oh, well, that's nice. Yep, I will take a point. God. Rampaging Frost Sound is so stupid. Like, it's just a strong card. And, like, when we have time for another deck critique, whenever... I don't have, I have like one or two in the queue and I'm not super, uh, they're not super high priority. Yeah, this is pretty bad because this card is just really oppressive and that's why they banned it in standard, but it's okay in queue even though mono red is one of the strongest archetypes. Jenna, what's going on, buddy? We again for this in the sinkhole for the first time once again drawing lands like a champ. Oh, man. Yep. Remember that? We wish we took that path to exile. How about a Riftwing Cloud Skate and I can just bounce this idiot? Yep, that's pretty good. They take four here? Wow, that's aggressive. <sighs> Next turn, we get to do a lot of things if we survive, and I think we can survive. Maybe we can't. I don't know. We have four mana. Ugh, it's really ambitious. Throwing Dynamo is exactly what we wanted because it lets us play either one of these. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Mimic that. Do they sack their own Siege Gang? That's interesting if they do. One, two. We take five and they don't have enough mana to block, actually. We're just going to block and go like this. I just want to get rid of the Ferocidon, to be quite honest. Oh, are they going to kill something? Oh, they're going to sack Siege Gang? Oh, this is going to be rough when we grant when we Alesh Norn here. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. But as long as Alesh Norn is like on the board, you can't really... And we only take three here? Oh, this is good. I mean, I hope they don't have zealous conscripts, I guess. Inferno Titan's also pretty scary. Yeah, they can mimic back tokens in. They just, they just die immediately, though. Don't you remember we built this city on rock and roll? 
Did we not attack there? Oh my god. Oh my god, you saw it go up and come back. I hate this client so much sometimes. You literally, like, if they give, if they get an extra turn, an extra turn is winning and losing in this game. Oh my god. Like, you could see it. You could literally see it go up and back and come back. She's like, nah, I'm good. What did we get? Phyrexian Revoker. Why wouldn't you just... Oh, because it dies immediately. That's a good reason. Oh, man. We have Immortal Sun and we have Karn. This is awkward, right? Worth noting, they would be at 8 now, not 12. I think we just need to keep this up, right? That's okay. That deals us three. And then we get to exile it so it doesn't come back with uh, Mimic Vat. Unless they just shoot us after this, which would be really sad. I would cry. Okay, this should be the win on the board. Presuming we don't die to some nonsense next turn. So, yep, here it is. I, I don't think we're going to win. I think they're just going to kill us here. Oh my god! That I did not expect. That I did not expect. <sighs> Woo! That that felt like our worst matchup as well. Wow. That's crazy. I don't even know how to process that. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, this hand is bad. This hand is also not great. This hand is better. <laughs> I mean, as far as five goes, this is not the worst. Oh, wow. I bottomed an island and then another island appeared. So this is one, two, three, four. This is this is five islands out of seven. In the top 16 cards. In the top six cards. One, two, three, four. In the top seven cards, I guess, because we bottomed one of them. This is match two, yes. Oh, I see. Joke's on you, buddy. I don't even have any counter spells. Oh, really? You're going to show up fashionably late? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually play this into this if we wanted to. Those are the days we ate our biscuits in the morning. Could just play Ruffling Cloud Skate here and block. Maybe. Maybe. But maybe.
This guy's not first strike, right? Great. Great. Uh, I'd rather bounce the 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 figure because if they want to spend more mana. Oh, yikes. Oh, that's a yikes for me, dog. Easy blocker ruskies. Oh, oh my god, the perfect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exactly. That's something. Hmm. Well, yep, yeah, that's pretty good. Seems good. Seems good. This feels like a Terminus Spellskite matchup where Spellskite just gets to block everything. I also don't hate Blissed Alliance, but they do have Thalia, which is obnoxious. What are the chances I'll have to mold to five again? Also, we haven't actually been able to take advantage of opposition yet, which is kind of sad. I'll take the negate out. Uh, we definitely... Wait, when you're talking about like that last turn? Because we only had six mana, so we couldn't upheaval or play monolith. Because they both cost one more because they have Thalia out. Otherwise, I would have for sure done that. That would have been amazing. <laughs> like, being able to go land Grim Monolith after a... Uh... I mean, I think the biggest difference was it, we should have probably bounced the Thalia because then if they want to play uh, Silverblade Paladin, they can't. They have to choose between that or Thalia. That would have made, it, that would have made a pretty big difference. Yep. Snap keep. This is a hand. Now the question, I guess we don't need Cold Steel Heart now. We can just go Cloud Skate into Monolith here. Yeah, I like that. And then we can still have Wrath of God on four before this guy comes down. Goes to two, we play Monolith. Goes to one, we play Wrath, comes down, bounces whatever they play post Wrath. Also good. So next turn we can play Opposition and, or uh, Cold Steel Heart and Wrath of God. That seems good. That is if we want to even use the model, if we don't have to. Ain't nobody making this. <laughs> oh, we're going to wipe it. Unless there's a Terminus right here. There was not. As you can see. One... Two, three, four. And this is how the match is supposed to play out. 
Figure, Inspector, and Brimaz. That is quite the two for one. You got it. You got another one drop? What? Wow. That is something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could go Cloud Goat and Cold Steel Heart. And that way we get to play opposition no matter what next turn. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let them answer the cloud goat thing. Wow, that's rude. This should be game, right? I also like Sower here. Sower seems decent. Just steal one of their guys. Might be better than Cyclonic Rift, actually. Winning is better than drawing cards, but just barely. Just barely. I could see taking out a Mortal Sun for like a Sower, actually. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh. I don't mind this hand because we have both of these to go with our... We can play three things so far. We do need blue. I'm going to keep this because we're on the draw. Wow, Bomat Courier. That's fascinating. Oh, come on. Really? Case, I saw your message. Um, Yeah, I'll get back to you tonight. Uh, I'd rather have Sower because Sower is a body and control magic. Just, I don't want to steal a 1-1 one -one with a control magic and not get anything out of it. Okay, that is blocking, right? Solid draws, magic, solid draws. Hey, look, there are fetch lands in the cube. One time is all I'm asking for. Just give me a blue man. Oh, for crying out loud. Terminus. Thran Dynamo. I 
I'm pretty sure this hand is very, very good if we can hit two lands instead of Entreat the Angel, Driftwing, Cloudscape, Thran Dynamo. Like, if we're able to go Monastery Mentor into Opposition, into, like, Basalt Monolith, make another token, or Elspeth, make two tokens, like, I don't know how they win here, but I imagine it is hard to draw three lands in a 17 land deck, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure we just can't beat this on board unless we do top deck Terminus, so... I guess we'll try to do that. <sighs> try to do that. Like the like it's something we're actively uh actively working toward. Just make an emblem. Yeah, for sure, dude. For sure. Oh, uh, we're probably not going to draw a card here. We'll Shut probably draw up, upheaval. One yikes from me, Buck. Perfect. Yep. Are we even alive here? Four, eight, twelve. Sure. One time. That's not. That's not it. Okay. Let me guess. The next card is terminus. Thank that's, you. that's my guess. I'm gonna wait for Magic Online to kick me. Okay. Next card. Cold Steel Heart. Yeah. All right. Well, that was good times. See in quotes. Thank you so much for the resub. 41 months. Jeez. That's a good amount of time, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I will join this match. I just noticed you always take the money, but you very rarely shut up. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Uh, I'll keep this hand reluctantly, but it's got all our colors. It's got a bunch of lands. Oh, the donate is shut up and take my money. That's true. I just keep talking. You're right. That's my bad. Don't be a land. Oh, that was a good one. I'm going to add a white here. I like it. I like it. I'll lock it. Another Thraben Inspe- Oh, Grim Monolith. Ooh. Ooh. That's a Grimmy boy. I see. Well, we have control magic, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can draw five, or we can just control magic. All right. Mirror Battle Sphere. Well, that's not great with control magic, but we also have Wrath of God, don't we? In the main deck? Wrath of God? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything about this. So we got white, 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 blue, blue. We'll just get rid of the white. That's obnoxious, but I guess we can also attack it with Celestial Colony next turn. We have to tap Grim Monolith, which is obnoxious, but... It does get rid of an otherwise oppressive Liliana. And if she goes to five, it's a lot harder to deal with. <clears throat> I don't want to draw a million cards and then just have to keep discarding them because that's obnoxious. So this puts us off like two turns, but it also lets us keep more cards. And Liliana is really problematic in the future, so. Yeah, that's obnoxious, but eh, it's still fine.
I mean, you get a bunch of one ones, we get a mirror battle sphere, so that's life. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at this guy. Make sure all your Thrabens are up to code. <laughs> Stop inspecting my Thrabens. I like this negate we got here. Negate is a, is a powerful wizard. No, dude. That's rude. Don't be rude. Return target non-land and turn return all non-land permanents you don't control. So I'll be able to return this, which gets them back a shriek mall, which doesn't do anything. I think we're just going to pass here and untap our Grim Monolith. We also can't uh, activate it anyway. We could draw three, but I'd rather just draw six. Land? Oh, opposition. Oh, okay, so I see what you're saying. There's too many L's there, right? I got you. I got you. I think we're just going to draw a million, right? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd rather just draw six here. And then play a land. We don't have another counter spell in the deck or anything, so I'm not really super worried about it. Yep, seems good. I got that full grip. Oh, lifelink, huh? Well, that's cute. Uh, I will use, I will not use the ability. This is a nice power and toughness. You got it. You got it. Uh, do we have enough for everything? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're one shy, guys. We're one shy. One shy. Thank you. Murbler, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're definitely playing our land. Could also just stack with Colonnade. They're going to block here. They go to f nine. And it's not a two turn clock. I think we're just going to play, dude. That'll do. All you gotta see is opposition and uh, monster mentor, I guess. That will do. <laughs> Relic actually seems great here. That's 
that's a pretty sweet pickup that we just randomly acquired. Uh, Forsake the Worldly also seems very good. Cyclonic Rift, eh, not thrilled about it. No, sir, I don't like it. Control Magic. Sower of Temptation also seems pretty good. Uh, Mortal Sun, maybe. Upheaval still, I'm still on the upheaval train. Hmm. 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 Maybe Mortal Sun's not great here. Whatever, I can take out Immortal Sun. We can just play 41. Oh, uh, I like turn two Monolith. But it doesn't let us do much else, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess if we hit an upheaval, it's actually pretty gas. Oh yeah, Death Sprout seems fantastic. That card is gas. I want to keep this on the draw. Case, you don't even know how physics work, man. Don't even try. You think because you're Asian, you're some kind of scientist. <laughs> Unbelievable. I am a scientist. Oh. Well, my mistake. I was clearly presumptuous. Um. Hmm. Don't have it. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it never fails. Never fails. Sometimes it fails, but it never fails. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five mana next turn. It's not Bane Slayer. It's we can't cast any of these. Ugh, gross. Well, we can cast that, I guess. That's pretty good. Go to good old seven. Uh, God, I don't want to bounce this guy. I guess it just prevents them from playing it again. Sure. I'll bounce this. If they want to recast it, it's fine. Bouncing Shrine doesn't really do much. Like, they'll just play it again. What can you do? Oh, discard, huh? Okay. Probably Elspeth here. I think these are just better. And we can cast... Two, three, four, five, I like Forsake because if they have like Necromancy, I want to be able to deal with that. Negate is a catch-all. I definitely don't want to lose Bane Slayer Angel. I'll split those block pretty well once you start getting tokens gone. It might just be Forsake. Or Negate. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the Negate. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is rough. I mean, our opening hand was pretty rough. I'm not going to block, though, because I definitely want to get rid of Liliana so they can't just, like, utterly smash our main Slayer Angel. And Shriek Maw. Jesus. Mm, yes, that'll do. And we couldn't do anything anyway. Okay. So. Yeah, nothing. I, I don't think we made any changes here. I think our deck seems good. I almost like Legion's Landing just to play around Liliana. <laughs> I will play first. Uh, this hand seems great. Turn two, Cold Seal Heart. Turn three, Basalt Monolith at the very least, depending on what we hit. <clears throat> Come on, Gary. Stop being a little Mitch. You're right. Oh, wow. That guy's scary. Can we get one land so we can go Dynamo into Basalt Monolith? Because that seems insane. Come on, just one planes. I'll take a city of brass if you really insist on. <sighs> Thank you. Entreat the angels. Solid. Wow, mask room. That is a scary card. Well, and Treat's going in the trash can, I believe. Triple white, like, we just don't have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just play Consecrated Sphinx here. Then they make a sacrifice. I think we just play Thran Dynamo. No, then we have to... Actually, we can play Thrain Dynamo to untap the Basalt model. That's pretty insane. Who comes up with these cards, man? Yeah, we just have to fade this one turn, and then we get to go nuts. I'm going to get rid of probably Cloud Goat Ranger. I feel like that's weaker than Elspeth here. My dad. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Well, to be fair, both of these were printed like 15 years ago, so it's not like they're both new cards. They had significantly fewer cards to check interactions with when they made Thrain Dynamo and Basalt Monolith, but you get what I'm saying. Mike Elliott, William, Jockish, Charlie Keldano, Paul Peterson, Bill Rose, and Henry Stern came up with Thrain Dynamo. Wow. Chris with his Thrain Dynamo trivia. Oh, yes. Here we go. We're doing it. Oh, give me that land. No, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gonna upheaval for all of the things. Bounce all your junk. I thought the Thran came up with the Thran Dynamo. That that's what I would imagine too. That was my guess. Uh 
it resolves. Okay, so we get to play a land here. And now we have four mana, so we can actually throw in Dynamo into Basalt Monolith, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good. We can also throw in Dynamo into Cold Steel Heart, which gives us another color. So, one, two, three, four. I think we just want actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Either way, we're going to play Consecrated Sphinx next turn. It's going to be Buku Bonkers. So, I think we're just playing this because I want to have at least one white next turn. Yeah, that seems good. Actually, we could play Monolith into Cold Steel Heart and then just easily untap it in the future. But I guess that's the same thing, right? It's whatever. Wasn't that fascinating? We could just go Monastery Mentor Basalt Monolith. That seems good too. I mean, that's no. Just basalt it. Actually, we should have saved the Basalt Monolith for the Monastery Mentor. That was pretty bad. Okay, now the game just ended. We have a Lesh Nord against our deck full of 1-1s one and 2-2s, two so I'm pretty okay with that. Also good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm almost tempted to just start Relic of Progenitusing so they can't bring back one of these fat idiots. I don't think it matters, though. Like, they can't deal with both of these guys, right? And we can still Relic next turn. Yeah, they're going to play Lily and make a sack anyway. Yep, I guess we... Oh. Oh, fascinating. Okay. I mean, I've already drawn four cards, so... I guess that's fine. Oh, this is actually just great. So we're just going to go one, two, three... Monastery Mentor... Uh, Relic of Progenitus. Niagara Liliana just sucks ass. Yeah, that'll be, that'll, that'll be the end. The Aleshnorn with the Monastery Mentor and the Grim... Yeah, anyway, that's just going to do it. This deck was pretty sweet. Um... Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe button. Check me out at coolstuffinc.com. You can use promo code FRANK5. You'll get 5% off all of your purchases. And uh, you can go to meundies.com slash FRANKLAPOR. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And finally, definitely check out manatraders.com if you're looking for a service to let you borrow either physical magic cards or even magic online digital cards. And uh, with, the co with the promo code and the link in my description, you will get 20% off your first three months of subscription. So definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.